Hi friends, welcome to next video. Today we are here by discussing what is flows, types of flows, requirement of flows. So first we can discuss what is flow. It is the bottom surface of a room in civil engineering. Flows divide the building into different flows. Wood, stone, metal etc can be used as a material for flooring. Floor at the plinth level is known as ground floor and above flows are called upper flows. Next we are coming to requirements of a flow. It should be durable and hard. It should be economical. It should be attractive. Flow should have a level surface. It should be fire resistant. It also should provide resistance to moisture. It should provide good strength and stability. So these are some of the requirements of a flow. Next we are discussing types of flows. These are some of the type of flows used. First one cement concrete flow. Second one tile flow. Third one brick flow. Fourth one flankstone flow. Fifth one mud flow. So these are the some types of the flows that are used. First one cement concrete flow. It is one of the most commonly used type of flooring. It is the type of the flow in which the cement concrete is used as flooring materials. They are hard, durable, more fire resistant and it should provide a smooth surface. Now the second one tile flow. In tile flooring tiles are used as toppings in flow. Tiles used can be any color, quality or shape. They are used for paving. Third one is the brick flow. In brick flooring, bricks are used as toppings in flow. This type of flow do not have smooth surface. This type of floorings are used in godowns, stores, etc. Now fourth one flagstone flow. In flagstone flooring, stone slabs are used as toppings in flow. They are used in godowns, stores, payments, etc. They should be evenly and firmly bedded in mortar. Now fifth one mud flow. In mud flooring, mud is used as toppings in flow. These type of flows are used in low cost construction. This method of construction is very easy. If you like the video, please like and subscribe the channel.